bro, this is you see, you see this is what this is why this is why what you believe is an error because you're not working with scripture. Let let's go through this again. At the baptism, Jesus rose out of the water. The Spirit of God descended upon him as a dove. Right? You're only filming me, right? Yeah. So we're, we're going to do this together, bro. You're going to get your answer, but we're going to work it out together. Okay? It's not a competition. I believe in the Bible. You believe in the Bible. So it's not a fight. All we want to know is all we want to do is be faithful to what Scripture says. So Jesus rose out of the water. The clouds opened and a voice said from heaven, This is my son in whom I, I am well pleased. So the first question is, who spoke? God. Who did he speak to? His son. Now if he is his son, who is God? What's the relationship between the son and the, the father? Yes, the father speaks the father speaks to the son now if the father is speaking to the son are they the same person thank you they are two different right one second we come to that later yeah. but we have now established scripturally that you and i both agree that the Father and the Son are not the same person. Agreed? When you say person, a person is a human being. A person is... N well, yes, most persons are human beings. Yes, definitely. Yes, yes. However, right? Is God a person? No. Can you relate to him personally? God is a spirit. Because the Bible says... Right. I don't deny that God is a spirit. I'm not denying that the thing that God is of his substance is spirit. I totally agree with you, right? But my question is, when God speaks to you, is he a person? Okay, so you, what? Let, let's think about a little bit more about what a person is. A, per a person to me is a human being. Right, is a rock a person? No. No, why not? He's not a human being. Right, so you're, you're saying that a person can only be a human being. Yes. Right. Can you have, can a human, and I agree with you. That, like, I, I want to say that I do agree with that. But I want to go beyond that statement and say, in addition to that agreement, God, whilst being a spirit, is also a person. Right. So let me ask you this question. Right? What is a son? The son, the son is referring to the flesh. No, the, you're adding to scripture no, there. No, 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 no. The son is referring to the human nature of all mankind. That's what it refers to. No. Let's just let let's just correct you. That's what the son is. No, it isn't. A son is a a progeny of a father and a mother. Yeah. That's what a son is. Yeah. A yeah. progeny. Yeah. That which is begotten yeah. of a father. Right? So Jesus is being called by God the Father, his son. Yes. However, yes. Okay. In the, in in a in the biblical understanding of what the Father and the Son is, it's referring to two nations. The Father being the Spirit and the Son being our flesh. We'll come to that. But you're not. We we haven't got an agreement about what a person is. A person is a human being. Like a right. But is a per does a person have personality? Do they have will? Do they have mind? Yeah, so they have will, they have mind, they interact, right? Right, okay. Does God have a will? Does God have a mind? He has a mind, but not how, not how human beings are. Right, I agree with you. No, 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 I agree no, with you. He doesn't have a brain. I agree brain. with you. I agree with you. He doesn't. He doesn't have a brain. He doesn't have a brain. Yeah. Right. So, so my point to you is, when we say that that God is spirit, we're saying that God has a, a substance. That that thing that no, God is. When we say substance, this 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 is this is not something that you can understand. Shall we? Shall we go stand over there? Yeah. A son. Yeah. A son 
is someone who has a relationship with the father. Agreed? A son... Say, say that A son yeah. is someone who has a relationship with a father or a mother. When you're talking about this, uh, in, in the spiritual context, yeah. Right. So if the son has a relationship with the father, then, then what we can establish is that they are not the same. Let's put it in quote marks for the second because it's a disputed term and you can use your own think, right? They're not the same person. Now, if you want to say spirit, now, if you want to say, if you want to say spirit, for the moment, I'll just use that word as a, an interchangeable word with the word person because I don't want to get hung up on a word. But what we can agree is if the, if the father has a relationship with the son, then whatever they are, they're not the same. There's some way in which the son is distinguished from the father. I, I've, I've explained that to you because I've, I've told you already. Do you agree with that bit? Yeah. I Great. But I okay. Don't, I don't agree with your understanding of it. Right. And, and what I'm trying to say to you is God yeah. is, is spirit. Yeah. Okay. And man is flesh. Right. Man is flesh. We're yeah. Human, we're human beings. Yeah. So when the, when the, when the Bible what says. Is yeah. Bro, you just, you've just got to ignore him. Talk. When, when, you correct, when you say, when you say, uh, if you don't explain God you haven't explained had a relationship with the Son, what you're saying is God, the Spirit, had a relationship well, with, with, with the human being. Right. That's, that's so, you're so, so, you're, you're you're, so, so your argument, right, if you're saying that, you're saying that the Father is the Son, but the Son is just a different form of the Father. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You, you said what? You're saying. It seems to me that you're saying that the father is the son, but the son is, is a different form of the father. So what are you saying? I never said that the father is the son. So is the I father, said, is I the said, son different from the father? Yes. Brilliant. Great. So is Jesus God? Jesus Christ is God. Great. However, is the father God? Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> wait, is wait, the, wait, 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 is the father the son? Is the father the son? Yeah. Is the father the son? No. Great. So now you're, virtue, you're only one more step away from accepting Trinity because you have just agreed that the Father is not the Son, but the Father is God and the Son is God. Or do you believe in two gods? No, I only believe in one. You believe in one God. So the Son is that God, right? The Son is, is what? The God that you believe in, the, the Son is that God. No, the son is so the Son is not God? No. So, so the Son is God? No. So is the Son God or not? Because you've said yes I, I, and you've I, I, said no. I've already told you that. I've said it plainly to you, truthfully. So is the I said that the Son is not God. Right, so now you're... I said, I said the Father is God. So you're denying that Jesus is God? No. Are you accepting that Jesus is God? I'm saying the Spirit that was in Jesus is God. Right. Not, not, not the flesh. So was Jesus himself God? Jesus himself? Yes. What, his flesh? That no. person. No, no the person of Jesus Christ. Was he God? How you understand person... Is different to how I understand person. Ask I'm not asking you that. Person, I'm not person, asking you that. Person. Go on. Is God is not a person. God is not a man that he shall like. Agreed. Okay? Yeah. And a person is a human being. No, a not always. A human being. Not in every instance. Are angels person. persons? No, angels are spirits. It's right. Okay. Is God a spirit? A angels are spirits that. Is God a spirit? In the likeness of man. Is God a spirit? God is, God is a spirit. Yeah. Is God an angel? No. Right. God, so, God, God creates, so by so by the and so by the logic of your answers, right? So by the logic of your answers, right? You've no. Let me finish, bro. Let let bro. Like yeah yeah yeah. Logic. So by the logic of your answers, you. It seems to me I I'm not quite sure. I am not quite sure what your position is because in one breath, and I'm going to invite you to explain. In one breath. You said Jesus is God. But then in another breath, you said Jesus is not God. Yeah. So my question to you now is, is the person of Jesus Christ, that person that I should accept as my Lord and Savior, is that person, as Thomas declared, my Lord and my God? Is he my God, as Thomas declares? Like I've, like I've said to you, how you understand what person is. He's asking what you understand. Please, please be quiet. Sorry, 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 sorry. How you understand how you what a person is. How you, how you understand what a person is is different to how I understand what a person That's not is. my question. 
So no, 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 but I need to clarify this because that's this, not this my is, question. This, this is this is where you're not going to be able to understand. No, my, I, I, I just want you to answer this question. You can answer it however you want, but please so, answer so allow, this question. So, to, so the question I'm asking you is: Is Jesus Christ the one that Thomas said said to him, "My Lord and my God"? Is Jesus Christ the Lord and God of Thomas? Yes. Yes. Right. So we both agree that Jesus Christ is the Lord and God of Thomas. Yeah. Right. Now, is that Jesus Christ to whom Thomas said, my Lord and my God, is that person the Father? Not the person. Because Great. You, you keep adding things like person, person, person. Stop saying person. Uh, Was Jesus Christ a person? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was a human being, but the spirit that dwelt in him was, was God. Right, was so God. so are you saying are you saying that the spirit that dwelt in but Jesus Christ was not God. Right, one second. So let, let's just be clear. As a Christian, yeah. I believe that Christ's humanity was not divine. Yeah. Right? I agree with you in that statement that Christ's divinity was human. Right? We agree. Right? But I also believe that the person that Thomas said to my Lord and my God that that person was divine and that that humanity and that flesh were joined together in the person that was Jesus Christ. Now, if you affirm, and I agree with you, that Jesus Christ is God, and you affirm, as I do, that Jesus Christ is not the Father, then that means that me and you can agree. Jesus Christ is God, but he is not the Father. Jesus Christ is not the Father. Jesus Christ is not the Father, you're correct. That's no, what I believe. Well, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Father. Right, okay. So, you are now saying that Jesus Christ is the Father, and that's why he's God, right? Not the human being, but Jesus Christ yeah. is the Father. Right, yeah. if Jesus Christ is the Father, who is he the son to? If Jesus Christ is the father, who is he the son to? I said that the flesh, the son, the, uh, the son is in reference to the flesh, the lower nature of a human being. Uh, so you're saying, Jesus said, ye are gods, but you shall die like men. Yep. So what, is, what does that mean? Okay, I, I will definitely answer that question. However, I, I, hope you, I hope you can yeah, understand it. yeah, I will answer if you that don't question. Understand it, then that means that you're, that yeah, you're I, if you, it, don't, yeah, don't it. well, no, 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 uh, don't, 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 don't jump to conclusions. So I, 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 I will definitely come back to this question, and I will answer it in this turn of speaking. I, I give you my word as a gentleman, I will answer that. But the thing is, you, theologically, the on, theologically, the only way, the only way that you can progress your argument now is to say that there was two persons in Jesus Christ, a divine person and a human person, person. right? I, I, I know you haven't, person, but it's the thing is, person. okay, if you're going to interrupt me, the whole conversation breaks no, down. Don't say, don't, no, don't, don't no, listen, what, don't, listen, don't listen, listen, listen to what I'm, that. try listening to what I'm saying. Try listening to what I'm saying. For you to add, you have affirmed that Jesus Christ is the Father and that's what makes him God. But then I said, well, if you're saying that Jesus Christ is the Father, then who is he the son to? To which you replied, when it refers to the son, it's referring to his human nature. Yeah. But a son is a personal relationship. It's not a substance, it's not a rock. You don't go up to a rock and say, this is a son. You go up to a person and you say, the person is a son of a father. And so, so, so to say father and son talks about relationship between the two persons involved okay. so the only way that you can advance your argument that jesus is the father but he is his own son is to argue that there are two persons in jesus christ and that's nestorianism now to answer your question that you asked about jesus saying ye are gods what does that mean right, right. do you, do you, you there, okay fair enough yeah yeah What I've said is, when the Bible refers to the Son, we're all, well, 
we're not all sons of God. It's only those that have been called. Agreed. Okay. Yep. That are sons of God. Yeah, by adoption. Okay. Yeah. Was so, Jesus son by adoption? He's, he's the only begotten of the Father. So he's not son by adoption. What does begotten of God, what does begotten of the Father mean? What does the word begotten mean? Begotten, begotten of the Father means that you, you, you have the connection with, with God. No, that is not what the word begotten means. It does not mean that. So, 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 so explain what it means. If you look, you know all those long chronologies of this was the son of so-and-so, and this was the son of so-and-so, and this was the son of so-and-so. If you go and read them in the Bible, it says, and Enoch begot so-and-so, and this person begot that son, and this person begot that son. You're, you're, to, you're to, to, say, to, to say that's begotten, that's to say that's begotten that's means that one is the progeny, one is the, the, the extension of the other. In human terms, that's biology. We have, we beget children physically. When it says that Jesus is the only begotten son of the father, what it means is, is that the son emanates from the father. He comes from the father. He draws his being from the father. He has the same DNA as the father. And, and for the sake of this conversation, I'm going to say for the moment, he has the same spirit as the father. But I want to be clear. I mean something different from what an Orthodox Christian means when I say that. Right? When you do this, you just confuse everyone. When you, when you say that, when did, you did, that, did you understand me, guys? Put your hand up if you understood me. The majority of people are going to put their hand up. And say that right? I so actually, a, a, a lot of people, a lot of people. No, that's your assumption. You're, you're, because you don't. No, bro, because you don't understand, you're accusing everyone else of not understanding, and that's arrogance. That's arrogance. That is arrogance, brother. That's arrogance. You're arrogant. Let's just do it again. Did you understand what I just said? He said he was confused. There we go. No, he said he said these people didn't understand. No, he said these people. Brother, can I talk to him? Right. So now that we've established that you didn't know what begotten means, and we've clarified what begotten means. Right, which means begotten, what? What does begotten, begotten mean? Begotten, in the physical sense, in the carnal sense. Which is what I said, yeah. Means that, uh, oh, sorry, but in the, in the carnal sense, yeah. in the human sense, yeah. it means that you, you, uh, your offspring. Brilliant. What does okay. it mean in the relationship of son to father? Brilliant. Let's go there, yeah? Yes, let's go there. In the, in the spiritual sense, it means that you have a spiritual connection with the father and you understand the things that he's that he's put in mystery for the world not to receive okay can i that's what that means right can it i means that you can actually you have the same spirit as him yeah so if i have the same spirit as the father does that mean that i'm god yeah so so let's let me ask you this question are you are you are you eternal as the son is eternal am i eternal as the son is eternal? yeah is the son eternal? Well, 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 the son's not eternal. Right, so Jesus doesn't claim to be eternal. When it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was with God, he was with the God spirit, in the beginning. The spirit is eternal. Does it say the word, or does it say the spirit? The word, the word is God. Okay, so let, the let's, word act, is God. Let, let's be clear about the spirit, because here's what I think's happening. When you use the word spirit, you're talking about you're, you're using it in the sense of a substance. Like, I'm made up of... No, I, no I've never said that. I've I, never said substance. I, I, I'm, that, this is how I'm that's hearing you use the word. I'm explaining, I, I'm, I'm explaining to you how I hear you use the word. Feel free to correct me. So, the way that I hear you use the word spirit is you're talking about it like a substance. Like, I'm made of carbon. You, you, we, we're made of carbon and water. That's our substance. You know, um, diamonds, are, the, their substance is carbon. Yeah, you, and so when when I hear you when yeah yeah it's by analogy bro so when I hear you use the word spirit because you're saying that it isn't about their person then I'm hearing you use it about their substance the thing that they are and you're saying that the son has the same substance as the father am I, am I understanding you correctly that the substance of the father and the son is the same great fantastic Brilliant. So when Jesus Christ was on earth and Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God, did he have the substance of the father there? 
Jesus. Jesus Christ, yeah. yeah. Right. So, and was well, Jesus well, well, Christ... Right, so hold on one second. Hold on one second. When you say substance... Yeah. God's invisible. So, you can't say... A substance. If I said, if I said love, you can't, you can't measure love. You can't can you see love. the wind? You can't, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't weigh it. You can't measure it. You can't measure the dimensions of love. Yeah, the, it's eternal. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say substance, yes. If you're referring to any form of frequency, something vibrating at a certain frequency, or it's physical, or or, or you or you can feel it in, in that sense, like yeah. the air, that is that's a substance, but God is not a substance. Right. So when so so, so, so when we when we when we when we Christians talk about God's when we Christians talk about substance, we're we we're, we're, we're using a word by analogy. We're using a word that describes something no no i'm i'm going to i'm going to finish what i'm saying so when we describe a substance we're talking about something that we can't know we're not we're not saying that we can stick it in a bottle that we can measure it that we can weigh it that we can experiment upon it it's something beyond this world but there is a thing that that substance that we call divinity and we're saying that the Father has it, and the Son has it. I, 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 like, if you want to replace, if you want to replace the word substance with divine, great. Like, but but this is you, you're just slipping into sophism. You just you're just confusing yourself through words, bro. Right now, you're just confusing yourself through words. Yeah, you, you understand what I'm saying. Right. So 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 what we've established is that when Thomas said, "My Lord and my God." Jesus Christ had the same substance or divinity as the Father, agreed? There, presently, in his person, agreed or not? There, there was a part of Jesus Christ that was divine. Great, right? I'm not going to quibble over the word part, right? But if we agree that Jesus Christ had the same divinity as the Father, my next question to you is this. When Jesus, when Thomas said to my Lord and my God, to Thomas, sorry, to Jesus, was Jesus at that same moment the son of the father? Yes. Right. So logically, it follows that we can agree that the father, can I finish a statement? I'm asking you a question, right? Logically, based on your answers, me and you should be able to agree with this statement. Jesus and the father have the same divinity. But the Son is not the same as the Father. Do we agree? The Son is not the same as the Father. Correct. Do we agree? Yeah. Great. Go on. No, let me speak. Yeah, go on. Okay. Like I've said, the Son is not the Father because in my understanding, the Father is referring to the lower nature you mean the sun is referring to the lower nature? Yeah, yeah. The yep. sun is referring to the lower nature. Yep. And the father is above the sun, which is the spirit. Just how the spirit is above human beings. The spirit is above physical substance. Yeah. Substance. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's 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 my point. Okay. So, that, but but if father, you but but if you agree that the sun has the same divinity as the father. Then, then, no, no, no. Uh, but not, he's not, not the, the same person. The spirit, of the, son. the spirit of the son. So now it's not the son. It's the spirit of the son. The spirit of the son. And when did he get that spirit? What do you mean? When did he get that spirit? Did he get it at his baptism? Did he get it at his conception? When did he get the spirit? Well, the, uh, the, the Bible says that um, he grew up before him, so the Lord was always with him. Yes. The the the. the, the yeah, because when Mary went to see Elizabeth, what did Elizabeth say? How should it be that the mother of my Lord has come to see me? So Elizabeth, by the Holy Spirit, recognized that the child inside the womb of Mary was her Lord. And so Jesus Christ was divine from his conception. And he was also fully human at his conception. Christians believe in the full divinity of Christ and the full humanity of Christ. And Christians believe that the divinity is not changed into humanity and the humanity is not changed into the divinity. 
they don't fuse together and form some third new thing that's never been heard of before. The divinity remains divine, the humanity remains human, but in the person of the Son, the Logos, in the person of the Son, they are united. I don't subscribe to any of the Logos and the... So you don't believe in John, you don't believe in John chapter 1 verse 1? I right. don't deal with them. I, I, deal, yeah. I deal with the, Holy, the real Holy Spirit. Yeah, well, the, the one second. The same Holy Spirit that fell on them. You're right, brother, you're, brother. I, I'm talking about that same Spirit. Yeah, you're going to embarrass yourself now. Go ahead. Because you've just said you don't believe in the Logos. The Logos is a word taken out of the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 1. It literally uses the word Logos to refer to who? You see, you don't know, do you? Go ahead and say it. Who is it referring to? Well, you I, don't know, I, do you? I, I, I only read the English. I don't. I don't. Right, is brother. That English, in, English, in the English Greek, Bible? in okay, the Greek. So, so you're, you're, you're saying Greek. I don't read Greek. Great. I read English. Let me help so, you then. So, so go ahead and, and, and yeah, say, let me help yeah, you. So it literally says the Kaiestologos proston theon, i.e., like and so what? Greek. Just yeah, because yeah, yeah. Muslims do something doesn't mean we shouldn't. The Muslims pray, don't they? Should we not pray? No, so no, no. just because. So as I was saying. It's literally saying that the Logos was facing the God. And then it goes on to say, and then it goes on to say, then it goes on to say, um, O Logos Kai Otheos, or the, Kai O Logos Otheos, which means that the Word was God, or God was the Word, the two become interchangeable. So in one sense, in one, in, in, in part A, it's using the Logos and the Tontheon as pronouns. And in, in part C of verse 1, it's using the Logos and Theos as descriptions of one another. So it's saying that the Word was divine, but the Word was not, was not the Father. Yeah, but the confusion is in you, bro. God is, God is not the awful confusion. And then you and, should and, worry you know, why what? you are confused. No, 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 no. Then you should worry why you're confused. You're, you're, you know, you're going back and forth and you're just making things all complicated. Why am I making things all complicated? Yeah, yeah he is. No. He just doesn't know. It, it. it sounds like you are. I'm not. Okay. Ah, good to see you, bro. Thank you for being here. I don't. I'm, I'm just listening. Yeah, he doesn't know what he is, to be honest. But yes, his theology is one that's so, Pentecost. So, so, okay. You explain to me then. Do you want me what, to go back to that passage no, no, you asked me to you, explain you earlier? Explain, you explain to me. Yeah, go on then. What does the verse, when, when, uh, when Jesus says, uh, you know... I am the Father of one? No, no, no. Many, many Christians will come, come to me in that day and say, uh, you know, Lord, did, did, I, did I not... Uh, prophesy in prophesy your, your name? Your did I not work miracles in your name? Miracles. And he says, go away from me, I never knew you. Yeah, demons. Yep. Yeah. Who's he, who's he talking about? He's talking about people like you, bro. No, no, he's talking about people like you. He's talking about people no, like you. He's talking about people like you. He's talking about people that, that, that <laughs> claim the name of Jesus. He's talking about people like you. Well, this is my point, bro, is that the difference between my theology and your theology is you can trace my theology for 2,000 years. I don't have theology. Yeah, you don't, don't you see, don't you, you don't even know that you're using theology. I don't have theology. You don't, e you don't even know you're talking theology right now. What is your background? Bro, do you don't do you know what theology is? Theology is, is what? created by man. No, you don't know. What is the word theology mean? What is the word theology? What does this theology mean? Can I help you, bro? That's, that's, that's what you do. Can I help you, bro? That's what, that's what the church. Can I help you, bro? Okay, the church fathers. Can I help you, bro? Can I help you, bro? They do because theology, no bro. offense, bro, but you're embarrassed. No, none of the brother. disciples had, uh, did theology. Brother, you know bro, yes, no, you're wrong. Or, or did they? So let me explain. Yes, I'm going to. Right? You're, the problem is, bro, you have intellectual pride and you don't recognize it. You do. Right? The word theology means literally in Greek discourse about God. It's literally, logos, logia, to talk, and theos, about God. Theologia, to talk about God. You're talking about God to me. 
you're doing theology right now and you're so pig ignorant and so full of your own pride you don't even recognize it so when you make grandiose stupid statements like i don't have theology you do have theology you've been communicating theology to me for this entire conversation so try to be a little bit more humble bro because you don't you know what you're your talking logic. about. You try to use your logic to understand God. You don't know what you're you talking use about. Your logic to understand God. You must have the spirit. To Which you don't have. You don't. Have the spirit. Well, I'm not going to argue about who has you, the spirit or not. Do you have, do you have the yeah. spirit? Yes. You, okay. Yeah. Let so. Straight in the eye when you say. So. Do you have the spirit of God? Yes. You do. Do you know who the spirit of God is? Yes, I do. Do you? Can you lie it's to the God. spirit of God? That's who God is. Can you lie to the spirit of God? Can you lie? To the Spirit of God. Can you lie to the Spirit of God? Well, yeah, the, the, human, the human being can. Great. But, but the, spirit, the, the Spirit won't lie. So, so, great. So, the, the Spirit does not lie, and the Spirit can be lied to. But is the Spirit the Father? Yes. The Spirit is the Father. Are you sure? Do you know what it says in Romans 8? Yeah. Yep, let's look at it. Because the thing is, bro, like, what's your name? What's your name? Nathan. Okay. My name's Bob. Right? I also have a name that you don't understand. That's fine. I don't need to know. I don't, like, go by whatever name you feel more comfortable here, right? Yeah, he's, the, he's, the, he's his own son, apparently. I want you to answer a very simple... I'm going to read a verse to you ask you a very simple question. So I'm reading from Romans chapter 8, verse 26. In the same way, the Spirit, who's the Spirit? Is the Spirit the Father? Okay. In the same way, the Spirit also helps our weaknesses, for we do not know how to pray as we should. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us. So let me ask you this question. What is intercession? Right, an inter let me tell you what an intercessor is. An intercessor is like you come to me and you go, Brother Bob, can you speak to Brother Andrew for me because we've fallen out and I, like he won't talk to me. So I intercede for you and I go to Brother Andrew and I say, Brother Nathan, he's really sorry, I want you to hear his apology. Will you, will you listen to him? That's an intercession. Right, so the scriptures have just said that the Holy Spirit is interceding for us. Who is the Holy Spirit interceding to? No. To the Father. So if the Holy Spirit is interceding to the Father, if the Holy Spirit is the Father, how does the Father intercede to himself? Because remember, the Holy Spirit is not human, so it, it's spirit. Right, so the Holy Spirit is spiritual, and the Father is spiritual, but you were saying that... No, no, no I wouldn't say spiritual, I'd say spiritual. Yeah, so the Holy Spirit is spirit, the Father is spirit, you're saying that the Holy Spirit is the Father, so how does the Father intercede to himself? I literally did describe what intercede means. Yeah, I'll explain what it means from the biblical sense. Right. So, an, an an intercessor, an intercessor, is one who who stands in the stead of another and speaks on their behalf. Yeah. So Jesus Christ. When he describes the Holy Spirit, he says, and I shall pray to the Father that he should send you another advocate, another paracleton. That's in the Gospel of John, verses 14 to 16. He's called paracleton a number of times, advocate, advocate, advocate. Advocate and intercessor are interchangeable. Yeah? Okay? So, so an advocate is someone who stands in your stead and speaks on your behalf. Now... For the Holy Spirit to be called an intercessor, 
it means that the Holy Spirit can't be the Father. Because the Holy Spirit is speaking to the Father on our behalf. Yes. So, no, you, I answered this question. How does the Father intercede to himself? Go on. When you have the Holy Spirit, in which way are you interceding with the Father? Don't answer a question. No, no. How, 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 in what way are you interceding with the Father? When you have the Holy Spirit? Right. Do, when you have don't answer a question with a question. I'll answer your question when you answer mine. I asked you a question. And the question was, how does the Father intercede to himself? When you answer that question, then I'll answer your question. The, the, the spirit, the spirit, uh, you mean the Father? Say Father, because that's who you believe the Spirit is. So use the word Father. The Father intercedes to himself how? The Father speaks to himself. The Father speaks to the Father as an intercessor. How? The, 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 the Father, this is the Father. What's an intercessor speaks, again? Speaks to himself. Who, who, what's an intercessor again? There's, 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 no one, there's, there's no one beside him. What is an intercessor again? Uh, someone, from, from, the, from the biblical standpoint, an intercessor is, is one that intercedes. What, what is it to intercede? Describe intercession. Speak on behalf of God. Right, so you're literally trying to argue to me that the father needs to speak to himself about a group of people that are speaking to him. That makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. It really doesn't. When in the Bible it says, uh, uh, the spirit, okay, when you have the spirit, it edifies who? Right, it edifies us. We are edified by the Spirit yeah. of God. Yeah. So, 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 when you have the Holy Ghost and you have the Holy Spirit, your, 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 the Spirit that's within you is actually speaking to the Father. Thank you. The Holy Spirit the speak. is speaking to the so, Father. The Spirit so the Father is, speaking, is not speaking. The, the, the Father is speaking. The Father is not the Holy Spirit. Then is he? Of course he is. Well, if he's his own self, how? God why speaks, does God speaks? God if, speaks God Brother, think God logically. Speaks, God speaks to himself. Think did, logically. Did you, not, did you not know that God speaks to himself? Mm, the Father and the... You can go into the Old Testament. The Father, the Father, and the, the Father, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit speak to one another. That's no, as what, no, as a Christian, I believe. Okay. Yes. That, that, right? That's fine. That's fine. Wait, let's... So, so that, that, that's what I believe. But, but, the, but you're essentially asking me to believe that the, the Father intercedes to himself about something which but makes no let me finish let me finish let me finish let me finish the father has no need to inter to speak to himself about i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna speak to you bro because maybe you'll listen the father has no reason to speak to himself about something because he's already dealing with it so why would he need to talk to himself about something that he's already dealing with do you get my point in the old testament so, so coming, in the, coming. In the Old Testament, the Bible says he counsels them amongst his own self. Yes, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit have counsel amongst their own selves because they have one mind, one will. Yes. See, you, what you've done is you've added to like, the Bible. You, you said, you've literally ignored the Bible. You've said, you've said that there's, there's three persons and they're all talking to each other. They're not but brother, in the course of... One second. Nathan, let's try to have a conversation. Nathan, I know you're rattled, but let's try and have a conversation. Then then don't act like a man that's rattled. Yeah, calm down. Let's have a conversation. So my point to you is, Nathan, is that you, you were... We have you on camera, right? You agreed that the... Well, it has me on, it has me on camera, but, it, but, but we have you agreeing with me on camera that... You agreed that Jesus and the Father have the same divinity, but they're not the same person. So if Jesus could be a different person to the Father, but have the same divinity, why can't the Holy Spirit? So earlier in this conversation, right, you agreed with me that the Son and the Father have the same divinity, but the Son is not the Father and the Father is not the Son. So why can't you just apply that logic to the Holy Spirit? 
What's, well, it's not hard. The father is the one. Right. So hold on. Let's go but, back. But the son. No. The son has a part of him is is God, and a part of him is not. I'm not going to quibble over the word parts. Because the son had a spirit, which was the spirit of God. I'm not going to quibble and, over the word parts. And, and he was also made of flesh. Yeah. A little lower than the angels. So. So, so, let, let, so he was kind just of think of, just he had, he had can, I want you to do a very simple exercise that small children at Sunday school will be able to accomplish. I'm going to read a passage and I want you to count for me. I want you to count for me the number of characters in the passage. Okay? When the helper comes whom I will send to you from the Father that is the spirit of truth who proceeds from the father he will testify about me how many characters do we have in that sentence now let's just read it again using the word father because you believe it's the father in every case when the father comes whom the father will send to you from the father that is the father of truth who proceeds from the father he will the Father will testify about the Father. Yeah, which is the spirit. That makes no sense. Which is the spirit. Now let me read it as a Trinitarian and let's no, see if no, it makes no, no. sense. Let me no, no, no. Let me let me read it. And then you can read it in your own I'll, I'll read it. Let, let me read it as a Trinitarian and then you can explain. When when the Holy Spirit comes, whom the Son will send from the Father, that is the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, the Spirit of Truth will testify about the Son. Yeah. Now, which Testify one of us, so which son, one of us is struggling is, to understand oh, 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 the scripture there? The son, the son is a distinct person from the father. Yes, the son is a distinct person from the father, testified to by another distinct person that is the Spirit of God. Going to testify about the son. Yes, the Holy Spirit testifies about the Son. That is correct. That's what the Bible teaches. So, that's what Christians believe, because the Bible teaches it. Are you yeah, denying yeah, that the Spirit yeah. testifies about the Son? Yes. You do. Your understanding is, is incorrect. You're in error. Right. So, 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 so let me explain. You read it and let me explain. Wait, wait, wait. You, okay. You've said... Well, why, don't you, why don't you read it and let me explain and then, and then you can read it and then you can... You, you, I've read it once. You explain it. Okay. So, so read it so, so I can go line upon line. Verse verse. No, well, no. Because you say it's something that I want to challenge. No, 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 just read the words. Feel free to pull it out, bro. Yeah, you can hold it. I'll, I'll, I'll go on. Uh, what is the verse? This one. Where? Where is it? This one. Here. When the helper, we only have one helper. We only have one helper. You do not have two helpers. You do not have three helpers. You have one helper. So. That's wrong, says, by the way. You're wrong, by the way. So it says. When the what? helper... Wait, can I just correct you? Look, what does this verse say here? I will ask the Father and he will give you... What's that word there? And he will give you another helper. So you were wrong. Because you said Let there's only explain. one helper. And Jesus said there is another helper. Let me explain. So who should I believe, Jesus or you? No, no, no. Believe Jesus. But let me so there is another let me helper. Break it down so you but is there another helper? Yes. There, there we go. There, there is another helper. So that, that helper one plus one equals no, what? No, no, no. One that plus helper, one equals what? Let, let me explain this. This is the same helper. And let me explain. So it's not another helper, allow, it's allow, the same helper. So Jesus should have said, allow, I will ask the me, Father and he will explain. give you the same helper. Allow me to explain. Wait, 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 wait. Allow you're me, allow me to you're adding to the words of scripture. Allow me to explain. Are you adding to the words of scripture there? Allow me. I, I've agreed with you. It's another helper. Another helper. Allow me to explain. First, answer this allow question. Me, allow me to explain. Is another the same? Answer that very simple question. Is another the same? Another is not the same. Thank you. That's correct. However, there we go. However, let, let me explain. Okay, we yeah. can come back to this verse now. Hold on. Let me explain to you, yeah? Yeah. We, No, come back to this verse. When, you were explaining when, when this verse. When Jesus, when Jesus said he's going to send you another helper, okay? The reason why he said another helper is because... It didn't mean it. No, no, no. no. The reason why he said... Another he, helper he, is because he, he got it wrong. Be honest, be genuine. Brother. Stop, 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 stop. 
That's not fight. That's not Christian. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to break through this pride, bro. That's interesting. Just trying to break through this pride you've got. See, look, look. You always accuse Christians about their behavior, but excuse your own. I am a Christian. No, he's not. He's not a Christian. He's not a Christian. This man is it's not a Christian. It's a silencing technique. He's a false witness. To it's a silencing tactic to silence the Christian. Yeah, serving of the Antichrist. Work. Okay, okay. Look. Go on. When, when, when Jesus said, I'll send you another help. Yeah, go on. Okay. He got it wrong. He meant something else. While he was with him, yeah. he was that. Right. So he didn't, he didn't, so he had to go away. Yeah. Okay. To That's true. Send, to then send, send another helper. Another helper. So that helper. He's sending that he him. Sent, when he left, he sent that helper. Yeah. When he left. Does why, what? Did, why didn't he send? Wait one why, second. Why didn't he send the helper? One second. While he was with what does the word send why, mean? Why, why didn't he send the helper while he Wait, was with them? One second. Because it wasn't necessary. Brother, brother, it's all right. I've got this. Thank you. I promise you, I've got. One it. at a time. Yeah, brother. What does the word send mean? Give me examples of the word send. It means, it means when it's not with you. Yes. It will come. Right. So it's that's not. What, that's what that means. Yeah. It's an, an, so, 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 wait so, one second. Give me an example of the word send and you sending something. You can send a parcel. You can send your love. You can send your greetings. Do you send yourself? No. Christ, you go, but Jesus, you don't send yourself, Jesus do you? Christ sent a part of him to his, to his disciples, which was the spirit that was in him. That's why yeah. when all of the all of the disciples was with him, yeah. they were in darkness, meaning that they, they didn't understand a lot of the sayings that Jesus said. Yeah. So okay? brother So when, when Jesus yeah. left Go on. when Jesus left, yeah. he said the spirit was inside the sun yeah. to the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah. So then they can open so their eyes can open so they can understand the scripture. Yeah. So my problem that, is that that same spirit Tell me when you're done and I'll reply. That same spirit Okay, that was inside Jesus, okay, was inside the disciples. Okay, can I refund? Okay, the problem with everything you've just said is none of it is biblical. Not a word of it is biblical, and I'm going to demonstrate it's not biblical by just reading the Bible to you with as brief a commentary as possible. So Jesus says, I, that's one person, will ask the Father. Why does Jesus ask the Father, and he, the Father, will give you another helper. That means that it's not the same helper. It's not the same person. Because the person, a helper is a person. You're helped by a person. Right? It goes on. It goes on. Uh, Jesus says, These things I have spoken to you while abiding with you, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. So the Holy Spirit is coming in the name of Jesus. So clearly not the same person. The father, the fa no, I, I'm sorry, the father don't, don't, don't interrupt. Okay. Don't interrupt. What is, don't what interrupt. Is okay, right, so we, he's, he's going to interrupt the now. Spirit. You're going to interrupt now. Or why are you running? Why are you running from scripture? 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 Right, so I'll read on then. Right, so I'll read on then. So, so it says, But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. That's clearly three, not one person. That's three persons right there. Jesus goes on and states, When the helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, that is the Spirit of truth. So clearly, so clearly Jesus Christ... Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, my teacher, does not agree with Nathan, the erroneous non-Christian. Because Jesus Christ teaches that there is a Father, there is a Son, and there is a Holy Spirit. And Jesus Christ teaches that He is the Son, the Son of the Father, and that He will pray to the Father, and He will send the far from the Father the Spirit of Truth in His name. So and when of, that spirit of truth comes, and when that spirit of truth comes, he will be not the same helper as Nathan tried to argue, but another helper. In other words, the first helper is still there, and now you have another helper, so you now have two helpers, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Nathan, what is one plus one? 
What's one plus one? One is a replacement for the other. One is a replacement for the other. Intellectual pride, Nathan. What, what, what you're doing, you're just leading them into the dip. You're just leading them into more darkness. You're not breaking it down so they can just... Nathan, no, have you founded your own church yet? Have you founded your own church yet? No, no, I Which church do you go to? I'm in the church. Which church? I'm in the church. Which church? The one and only church. The one and only church. Can you show me your theology from the year 1500? Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian, Nathan? Can you show me your theology from the year 1200? What about from the year 800? What about the year 700? What about the, the year same, What about the year 300? The same thing that the disciples have. You can't show it me, can you? Who believed in your theology in the 13th century? The 13th century. Right. But here's the point, Nathan, right? And I know this I can't get past your intellectual pride, but here's the point. The theology that I teach has been taught for 2000 years. Your theology Your theology your theology is completely new and it has come from America, the Oneness Pentecostals. And you've absorbed it from YouTube videos and the internet. No, you, it's, it's That's where you've got it from. That's where you've got it from. In secret? Why are you frightened? Someone persecuting you? So you're, so you're the authority? You're the authority we should go to. Brother, I'm demonstrating to you that you're going against what Jesus said. Guys, 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 brothers, brother. Let, let's focus. Let, let's focus on this. Yeah. Jesus said, ask me things in secret and I'll give it to you also in secret. So when, when, when you're at home and, and you're, you're reading the scripture and you want to believe and you want to have eyes to understand, he says, close the door and ask. Yeah? So in secret, that's what I've done. And it's so led you into I've, error. I've come to you, when I've come to you and, and, and I've tried, tried to tell you the things that I can see and I understand, you, you just disregard it. Yes, because you're wrong. And, and you're wrong and you're stuck in an intellectual pride. Nathan, I know you don't want to hear this, but you're not as smart as you think you are. I know that that hurts you and I know that it offends you, but, but, but I say it to you because, because I'm trying to get through to you. You didn't understand what the word theology meant. You didn't understand what the word intercession meant. You didn't understand that the word logos was in the Bible. You are not as clever as you think you are. You have not that's discovered that's, that's a secret. See, that's the spirit. You're hurting yourself. That's the spirit of the devil. You're hurting yourself, brother. That's the spirit of the devil. Yeah? Let, let me ask you this question. Because Again, only the devil speaks up. Right. I'm trying to break through an intellectual pride here. What not I'm not saying he's stupid. Never said he was stupid. Never said he was stupid. I said he's stuck in intellectual pride. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you with one more evidence, and then I'm gonna stop. So let me ask you this question, right? When it says, when it says. The, these words, right? It says these words. I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you into all truth, for He will not speak on His own initiative, but whatever He hears, He will speak. If one person is hearing and another person is speaking to Him, how many persons do we have there? The reason why you don't understand that scripture is because you don't. He said, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only." Prohora, prohora, prohora. Abla, prohora. Go on, bro. This is the whole reason that the gospel. Go on, bro. He says He loved the world. The, the, the reason why you don't understand that scripture is because you don't have the same spirit. And he said, that was in the disciples and all of the prophets had the same spirit. They didn't have different spirits, they had the same one. But that wasn't the question. Wait, allow me to finish that. They all had the same spirit and that's why they could understand what is being written. So, what you've just quoted, okay, he's only speaking of one, one spirit. It's only speaking of one spirit, one God. Still not answering my question. Still not answering my question. 
It says that he will not speak of his own authority, but he will speak everything that he hears. So everything that comes out of my mouth that is the truth. So who is who is who is he hearing from? Who is the spirit of God hearing from? Allow me to speak. Everything that comes out of my mouth that is the truth is being spoken by the will of God. So that's two persons. No, it's not. So you're one with God. Yes. So you're God. No. So you're not God. You're not one with God. I'm not. I'm not God. I'm not God. You're not God. I want you to understand this. I'm Bro, I God. know you're not God. I could. Believe good. me, I know you're Excellent. not God. So yeah. Why did you ask me? Because you. So because. Why? Because. You, oh, hold on, hold Nathan. Because you truly, you're lost you, in semantics you, and sophism. You truly, no, no, no. You're lost if in you semantics and sophism. You, because you're trapped in words, bro. No. You're trapped in words and clever conceits. If you, if you truly understood, why would you ask? So, here this is Trinitarians. He didn't actually ask you. He was yeah. like, so you're not God. So you are God. No. He said, and you were so, saying, no, I'm not. He said, yes, he said, so yeah, are you God? Said, no, yes, he I am. Me, then you went, no, I'm not. He asked me. So yeah, he, he asked you me, did literally say, yes, you're one with God. Like, like... Uh, the right. Of the law. Bro, you're not going to win. Ask, ask yeah. Jesus. Bro, ask Jesus. Bro. How is it? You're going to win, how, how, how I'm going to. supposed to be born again. Yeah. To I'm going to. I'm going to read again? the passage again. He's, he said the exact same thing. I'm going to. I'm going to read the passage again. But now I invite you to hear it. Why are you asking me? Now I. He's, he's running, bro. Oh, so you're not. Why are you asking me if I'm good? Right. It's all right, bro. It's all right. Guys, I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna read. It, it's just, it's just using you to run from the debate. If you knew it, but to be fair, it? to be fair, guys, I'm gonna close this discussion now, right? Because you can't fill up a cup that's already full, and you can't teach someone that is trapped in their own intellectual pride. Nathan, with every love, I would say to you, brother, that you are caught in intellectual pride. You're caught in clever conceits, and you're trapped in your own sophism, and you don't understand half the words you're using. Let, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish by just reading, I'm gonna finish by just reading the words and then giving you the Trinitarian interpretation. Jesus said, I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, that means another person, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak of his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak. That means that there is a listener and a speaker. The Father will speak and the Holy Spirit will speak the words of the Father about who? The verse continues. He will disclose to you what is to come. He will glorify me. So in other words, the Father is using the Spirit to glorify the Son. Trinitarians aren't struggling with the text. But have you seen from this debate, when you apply Nathan's understanding to the text, the words lose all meaning. Literally all meaning. Okay. So, Nathan, have a good day, bro. Nathan, God bless you.